Hey everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena. You know what time it is. We are reviewing more art supplies. This time it is the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pens. I love these things, even though I barely even used them once. Um, yeah, um, when I did use them, they, they looked amazing. The problem was I was using them on the wrong paper and they would not play nice with the paper and other supplies I was gonna originally use them with, so they get their own review. Yay! Anyways, let's just get to that now. Well, wasn't that aesthetically pleasing? Anyways, um, this is the little instructional slip, I'll call it, to activate these. Now then, I have already activated these, so we're pretty much just ready to go, but here. You can read the instructions if you want. Are you entertained? Gosh, I hope so. Sun's from I can't I can't say that word right. But you know the word I'm trying to say, at least I hope you do. Anyways, there's like tiny maracas inside them, which is cool. Nice brush tip. Now then this is my watercolor paper, so these things should Ooh, ooh, I like that. That's nice. You can really, hopefully that shows up that you can really see that, that glitter in there. Now, take it a step further, I want to see how well these things respond to some water. I have my brushes that are specifically set aside for glitter. Yes, I have a set of brushes that is just for dealing with glitter water media. That's what my life has come to. Okay, so not the smoothest melt I was hoping for, but you can get a nice watercolor-esque transparency. What I want to try now, I got a palette here. Let's see, just Dab some in there. Add water. And boom, you've got watercolor with extra steps. Okay. So I'm gonna do this five more times and then I need to uh, think of an illustration. Y'all know how it goes. Alright, so overall I think that these swatches came out very well. It worked a lot better on the watercolor paper. And even when you dilute them with water, you still get a lot of that glittery, that glittery goodness. Yeah, I like that. Glittery goodness. Anyways, it is time to draw something and oh my gosh, look at that last page in this watercolor book. How about that? And sorry for the bouncy camera, but can't help it. Oh yes, also um, I figured I should probably bring this back because I'm gonna need some more mixing space since I do plan on doing some color mixing. So yeah, there's that. Anyways, I need to get sketching. 
I'm just gonna these out of the way for now so I don't knock them over and destroy my lighting or my tablet or anything else because water has a habit of doing that anyways. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start drawing now, okay. First of all, I'd like to mention that I didn't really use these pens as, well, pens. Not once during this painting, but if anything, that shows just how versatile these things are. Directly out of the pen, the color is very rich and heavily saturated, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. However, as shown in the swatching phase, when placed on the paper directly and then the water is added after, it doesn't re-wet terribly well. But if you squeeze a few drops into a palette and add water to your liking, it's just like watercolors, but with glitter. And I rather enjoy art supplies with glitter. I've even used actual watercolors with glitter before and I think these pens were far more concentrated. Unlike the last time I used only glitter watercolor for a painting, these were so much richer in color, I was able to do better in the shading department. At least I think so. Overall, I think these sparkle pens would be fantastic for accents, hand lettering, calligraphy, and as shown here, they stand all on their own. If they had feet to stand on. Overall, I think these sparkle pens would be fantastic for accents, hand lettering, calligraphy, and as shown here, they stand all on their own. If they had feet to stand on. But you get my point. I also mentioned earlier, at least I think I did, that I do indeed have a set of brushes that is strictly for glitter water media. Now the reason why I do this is because the glitter in so many watercolors or inks like these Spectrum Noir sparkle pens is super fine and even after diligent and thorough cleaning, sometimes little flecks of unicorn dander still cling to the bristles and I don't want to cross-contaminate my glitter media with my non-glitter media. It's just one of my little quirks. I had so much fun with this piece. Cherry blossoms are one of my favorite flowers. This is also a bit of a redo of a previous piece that I've drawn slash painted when I ahem, attempted to paint that rainbow cherry blossom. I'll have a link below on one of those eye bubble thingies if you're interested and would like to check that out. Yes, I know cherry blossoms are typically pink or white. I just loved painting these ones blue. Blue cherry blossoms just look so cheerful. Of course, so do the normal pink ones, but I like things that are odd colors. Pixabay, my old standby, is to thank for the lovely reference image used here today. For those of you that are unaware, Pixabay is a wonderful site filled with reference photos that are copyright free and free to use. Seriously, they are an amazing and helpful site for artists and artists, or if you just like looking at pretty pictures. Okay, so whether you use these pens as pens or you do what I did and use them as watercolors with extra steps as I like to call it, I like these things a lot. I mean, look at that. This is, it's a page full of glitter and sparkles and happiness and I just, I love it. I had so much fun with it. I really did. And uh, once again, special thanks to Pixabay for having so many wonderful reference images to use for free. So be sure to visit Pixabay and take a look around. I mean, like, you never know what you'll find. But these, these Spectrum Noir glitter sparkle pen things, these things are just... I, I'm really glad I bought them because they were a lot of fun. And by using 
the water and like you can really really stretch it out and I love that in an art supply hopefully these won't dry out anytime soon but hey who knows but uh, these I, I can see a lot of mixed media potential with these like using them with other actual watercolors or maybe making an accent on top of a marker drawing or something like that but I, I, I say again, glitter. You had me at glitter. So I certainly hope that this video has helped you out in some way. If it did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, while we're at it, why not visit my Instagram at Silver Hyena Art. And with that being said, this is Silver Hyena signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye! Don't knock over the water! Glitter!